Hello, hello, Serpent Trading here, and I am uh, doing a bit uh, of um, a watch list one here. Um, although I actually do own some Dutch, uh, Royal Dutch share already uh, in a dividend portfolio, um, long term hold just to collect the dividends. Um, but I think um, we may be uh, approaching a kind of buying level for uh, this stock. So, uh, Gonna have a look at the the chart and uh, just tell you why I've been thinking about it. <clears throat> yeah, so um, I'm not going to do any fundamental analysis. Uh, I assume you all know Shell, and um, you can have a look at their numbers yourself. This is going to be just looking at um, what's been happening on the chart lately. Um, I did actually a few weeks ago, and I didn't do a video, so you're just going to have to believe me. Um, I did say to myself that this was going to test the lows, and we seem we have actually had a retest, and the lows being uh, the old Rony Corona lows. So um, we've got back down there, and uh, if I can actually make my chart look semi decent and stop using drawing tools when they're not working, yeah, so we tested the low back here. And we've since had a little rally, although we've got this uh, candlestick today. Looks like a little bit of a reversal candlestick. Um, so we're going to be paying attention to where this goes next. I don't want to catch a falling knife, um, but it has been known to happen. Uh, from the best scenario, I'm looking at a back off here and a reversal of a break of the, this uh, downtrend. Um, this channel that I've been looking at, and um, it started back in June, and I've, uh, I'm pretty sure I had multiple tops on it, um, and that's when I sort of speculated that I thought it was going to follow it all the way down, which uh, for some, for luckily it has. <clears throat> but I'm getting a little bit flustered, and it's because I've made this video three times already, and it's a uh, always been some sort of technical problem or I've completely lost the plot in the middle of the video <laughs> this YouTube is not as easy as it looks it's actually quite hard talking to yourself and trying to remain some uh, somewhat consistent <laughs> coherent sorry and consistent <laughs> so um, yeah I'm gonna try and crack through this and hopefully nothing will go wrong with this one uh, so where was we yeah um, a bounce off here, if it was to actually come down again, and we saw a break of the lows, uh, testing new lows, uh, I think the channel could be respected, could be a good time to pick some up. Um, obviously, longer term, um, I think that Shell is a um, decent stock for the long term. Uh, it seems that the oil, all, all the oil majors are being priced like we're never going to use oil again. Um, obviously, we're going to use oil. You, you need it for even if we stop driving everywhere. If uh, we all work from home and uh, teleporters are invented tomorrow, so no goods or nothing needs transporting about, we're going to still be using oil for plastics and all the other sort of goods that are created from it. So I don't think the oil majors are going to be going anywhere. And uh, I mean, that's oil um, actually becomes rare as a resource then um, surely the price would go up. Um, if revenues do carry on dropping, um, obviously oil majors eventually become uh, unprofitable and uh, cease to be viable businesses. But I think we're a long way from that. So, um, you know, buying this stock for the next five to ten years, I think you're going to do fine in it. Um, just before I... Um, talk about something else i wanted to show this chart i found quite interesting it's um shows uh the yearly um gain or loss on the share price all the way back to, from uh, 1988 and uh what i find interesting is that 2020 is uh, one of the biggest drops in fact i think it is actually the biggest drop it's the biggest drop on this chart so I just can't see this going down much next year. I would imagine we're going to have a gain. Most of these big drops are followed by a gain, apart from uh, 1997 when you had another 15% drop. 15% drop, though, is pretty much nothing. 
Uh, I think this stock pays, um, I haven't checked what the dividend was, but I think it pays something like a, a 5% dividend. So, um, yeah, your dividend's going to cover most of your capital gain drop that year, and then you should look forward to a bit of a bounce in the year after, years after. Um, even if you don't want to hold this long term, uh, and I'm sure there's a few t traders out there, um, say we was to break through, find new lows, hopefully supported by this channel, and sort of come back up and trade around a little bit. I actually think this line up here is a good target price. And uh, this is actually um, an uptrend support line. I've got it red because it's uh, going to obviously act as resistance now. And um, that goes way, way back. If I go to a weekly chart, and stop drawing over my chart. Uh, it is really difficult to get the whole price on the screen. There we go. And um, we've got price data on um, trading view back to uh, well to 2001, <clears throat> just the end of 2001. And um, I've uh, actually looked at some longer term price data for this and it um, this this price channel, this price um, level um, uptrend support, um, it goes way, way back. And it's every time that the price has actually come down, you found that it's, it's, it's found support around here. So I think if it's going to rally, you're going to definitely get up to there. And uh, you should get a bit of resistance there. For me, I would hold this for the longer term. Just hold it for the next few years and uh, be looking for actually, I mean, if you're looking slightly longer term, you might find some sort of resistance up here where you've got a little bit of a downtrend. Um, but as I say, oil made it seems so cheap. It seems like almost guaranteed money, not really um, having to think about it going to get a dividend while you're holding it as well so um i think they're going to be good stocks to um own and uh, i can't actually zoom in there oh, boo -boo. there we go so i think that's all i've got to say uh i think i've actually taken longer to say it on this video than i did the last one but the last one um it only had my voice and no image so uh that is this is definitely a video that's going to be uploaded and I'm not going to do any more, just as long as I can actually see everything happening on the screen. Uh, leave a comment, smash the like button, all the other good stuff. I love all comments, negative, positive, any of your views, I'll reply to it. And I'll uh, catch you in the next video.